Here are my life savings I've been saving up since I've been nine years old. But because of inflation, it's screwed. So let's put it into a crypto day trading bot instead. Did I actually go out the window? See, I want to know whether all of these positive Pionex reviews are actually real or not, and whether the AI bots that, you know, trade for themselves actually work and work well. If Ryan Trayan can cover the length of America on one cent, surely I can, you know, turn my life savings into 12 holidays a year for the rest of my life. Maybe to the Maldives or something. So after I assaulted my knife, I started to chat a lot of shit. So let me give you the short version of this and skip to the good stuff because you, yeah, you have places to be. So in this challenge, we're going to use three different trading strategies. And at the end, we're going to compare them all and see whether we would have been better off just putting our money into the coins and leaving it sit there. Because this is automated trading, we don't need loads of screens. But it looks kind of badass, so I did it anyway. Oh! Or. Yeah. Look at my screens. There's no way we can't come up with a profit here. I still think you're mad doing this challenge. I have confession. I can't code. I can tell people to write code, but I can't code. But for all of you non-coders out there like me, we don't have to write a single line of code to get this done because my lovely friends over in Pyronex have already created a bot for me. This video isn't sponsored or anything, but let's just pretend it is to give myself a bit of an ego boost. So I've already signed up for Pyronex and funded my account. Obviously, you know, this isn't like real money. My actual savings are in a bank account, like the greedy little avocado loving millennial I am. But on a serious note, this is actually the money I've been saving up since I've been a little kid. I do hope this works. So I spent some time researching each of the bots and picked three of them that I was willing to put my money into, along with the parameters I was going to set based off what the experts online were saying. Guten Morgen. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick three different bots. The first one we're going to pick is the grid bot. The second bot we're going to pick is the martingale bot. And the third one, I'm kind of, you know, humming and hawing between the arbitrage bot and another one. We might do a last minute.com change on that one. Right, before we get going, it is very important that we actually understand what these bots do and the parameters that we're going to set for them. So let's do a 30 second Dar Lucy special on this. So for the grid bot, it's all about buying and selling often and trading off of the volatility. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a price range for the bot, i.e. what prices we want the price of the price 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 if Bruce's price is right of the asset we want to maintain and then adjust how many grids that we have within that bot that we wanted to trade in got a bit banged up there okay so with this bot what we have is we have an upper bound and we have a lower bound and this is the range that we want to trade in we don't want to go above or we don't want to go below that let's say for argument's sake the price is here at 95 and what the grid bot will do is it will set lots of little grids within this range in this case we have 10 grids so the first thing the bot will do is it will buy here then when the price increases by one of those little grids it sells so what it does is it sells here and when the price moves back down here again the price is refreshed and it buys again and if it moves up it will sell again but if it keeps moving down like this it will keep on buying at those grid ranges and when the bot starts moving up here again it will start selling them thereafter now one of the risks with this bot is that price comes down here and you buy 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 and it keeps going down and you're never going to see that again but the reality is you'll probably end up buying a lot as it's going down but if you're confident in the asset and the price eventually starts coming back up you'll start selling it just depends on your time frame so what i'm going to do for the grid bot is buy the bitcoin tether pair set it to a manual setting set the price range between 12 and 36k and set 150 grids so the martingale bot which is based off the martingale strategy should in theory you know give you a 99% guarantee chance well that doesn't really make sense a guaranteed chance of winning if and this is a very very small if you have an unlimited amount of money now luckily we have you know a limited unlimited amount of fake money to start off with so Papa where's the private jets? And the Martingale strategy is not one for the faint-hearted because what it involves is doubling your trade size every time you face a loss. So let's say this is me here and I have $1,000 in my hand. Then I happen to walk into Bubba Gump Casino and start betting on coin flips. So it's a 50-50 chance of winning. How the Martingale strategy works is that I start by putting down $1 bets. If I win, I collect $1 and then I keep on going and I keep winning a dollar every single time. But if I lose, the next time I need to put down $2. And if I lose that bet, then I need to put down $4. And if I lose the bet after, I need to put down $8. And for me to lose all of my money here, I need to lose 10 times in a row because two to the power of 10 is 1,024. So that means I have one in 1,024 to one in guessing wrong 10 times in a row. And because I'm constantly doubling down my bet, I'll always win more than I lose. So theoretically, I should win every single time. And as we all know, everything in theory always ends up playing in reality. Pardon? Now, if you want some more detail on the Martingale bot, Pinex have actually done a couple of studies with their bots and have published their results online. 
And what you see is that there's kind of a loopy scale for how well your bot does depending on the risk. And it also recommends you only use this bot with coins that have a big market cap and are very unlikely to drop down to zero. Now, obviously nobody wants to invest in a coin that will go down to zero, but in crypto, anything can happen. So it's best to play safe here. So with this bot, I'm gonna use the Ethereum Tether pair. I'm gonna set the settings to manual, a price range of 2% and a 1% take profit ratio. Okay, so the final bot that we were gonna use here was the arbitrage bot, which actually is literally more or less a risk-free way when it comes to generating like six or seven percent interest a year. But then I also saw this thing called the moon bot, which is basically just an automated grid bot. And that sounds way more exciting, so let's just do that. We're here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> Okay, so we're on day three right now and I have my lappy toppy right here in front of me with the results. So the last time we checked in, we were on about a $4 profit and that was after one day. And two days later, right now, we're at, build up. $14.62 profit, which is actually pretty good. We may as well print like a money tree out the back because this stuff is really easy. <laughs> but before we actually go splashing that cash on something that we shouldn't, one other thing to note as well is that the market has been on a slight increase for the past couple of days. So the one thing I'd say is that right here for these results, it's definitely worth taking that into consideration. There's a good chance that this profit is purely just down to the price moving up and not my, you know, insanely complex logic and trading calculations. We are seven days through the Pionex challenge giving my life savings to a bot and I haven't checked their final results yet purely just because I want this to be you know a live entertainment experience for me anyway now before we check the results remember on the first day we were four dollars in the green on the second day we were fifteen dollars in the green and I think you and I both know where that sequence is going to take us next hey man love the car what do you do for a living oh thanks I'm a forex trader uh, we're down forty-four dollars. <laughs> I am never gonna financially recover from this. Okay, let's look a bit under the hood here. So our moon bot here has actually lost us the most money, fifteen dollars. The martingale has lost us fourteen dollars, and the grid trading bot that we set ourselves has lost eleven dollars. So you see here, just for transparency, this has been going for seven days, three hours, and nine minutes, all of them. And now we just got to figure out what went wrong. And look, you can see here that our balance all the way up until just yesterday was relatively okay, but then something must have happened because because our profits just dipped hugely here. Let's go on to trading view and see if there's a correlation between when our profit dipped versus when Ethereum dipped. 20 past six, there's a big dip. So clearly our bot has correlated with the dip in Ethereum, which actually makes a lot of sense because the reason that our balance has decreased is because we're using more and more funds to buy each dip, which is gonna reduce our average holding cost with the expectation of just buying more in the future. And through the nature of the Martingale bot, the more it dips, the more we end up putting in. So that explains why there's been a significant loss here because we've just bought loads of dips and ended up putting more and more money into it. And we won't see that money again until the price starts to increase. Okay, let's have a look at the grid bot. So let's start off with mine here. This is relatively simple. I presume Bitcoin took a similar dip. And what's happened is that we just kept buying those dips because we set those grids within the range of 12 to $33,000. So then once the price goes back up again, we'll then sell what we bought and hopefully recoup some of those losses. And then with the moon, Moonbot, to be honest, I have I have absolutely no idea what's going on with the Moonbot. The name got me, Moonbot. Now, in all seriousness, the Moonbot is actually a grid bot as well, so it's a similar setup. Okay, right now what we want to do is figure out whether we would have made more money by putting our money in the bot, or whether we would have been just better off putting it into Bitcoin and Ethereum in the first place. Well, if you see here for Bitcoin, let's say, for example, we are down 6% and 4.5%. So let's call that 5% on average. We're down in Bitcoin. We have coin stats up here, and if we look at Bitcoin over the last week, Week, it's down 5.86%, which is actually almost the exact same as what we would have been down with these bots. So not too much of a difference there. But if we go to the Martingale bot, we are down 4.2%. So if we now go to Ethereum, and if we see what Ethereum is down the last week, it's down 5.92%. So technically we actually lost less with our Ethereum bot than we did in the overall market if we were to leave it sit there. This is day one of crypto token day trading. But that being said, this has been a very, very small time window here. There's not a huge amount of data here to really stand over those results, obviously. And clearly one is very much correlated with the other. So let's just round this up. You ready to laugh? better be ready to laugh. See, the thing with this experiment is that the test window we had to run it is <laughs> extremely small. And for us to really get some tangible results, we'd want to be doing it over a much longer period. Now, I'm not particularly sure if I'm gonna keep it running myself, but I will leave it running until I post this video to see you know, if people want me to continue doing it for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, forever. I'm not gonna do it forever. One thing I learned through looking at the comments in, in some trading videos, and it really is true, is that even if you have the bot with the best technical price action in the world, there is always one thing it will miss you.
<laughs> no offense. It's the human emotion. It was a cool experiment. I'm really happy I did it and, you know, maybe still continue to do it. But the thing is, even if I had a good strategy, forget the human emotion element of it. I was so stressed <laughs> during this because I couldn't stop checking it. I kept wanting to fiddle around with the parameters based off the results I'm getting. And considering there was not that much difference between the trades we made with the bot and, you know, just putting our money in a coin, I don't think I'm going to be opting to put any more money into these bots unless I have a killer strategy that I can just leave or let somebody else run. Nonetheless, it was good time to make a laugh what will happen to the bots when i deactivate them they'll rust in peace sorry subscribe if you laughed it's friday night